a sexy prank, and a Pinterest score. The list starts now. Channing Tatum plays a prank on Magic Mike fans, and there is a wild ending. Then Tex Neck, it's a real thing. How to correct it before it becomes a pricey problem. Plus, access to free Wi-Fi 24-7. There's an app for that. Welcome to the show. I'm Teresa Strasser. And I'm Donna Ruco. Let's start by counting down the top of the list. In our newsroom, Bradley Hasemeyer. That's right. Throw on a wig, act aloof, and you've got Channing Tatum punking his fans. It's all part of the Magic Mike marketing thrust at number five. Five, four, three, two, one. So to give you a little preview, we've gathered a unsuspecting group of Magic Mike fans. And we're going to show them the movie in 3D. A special 3D screening of the upcoming sequel to Magic Mike sounds like a good time. I'm going to go undercover and make sure that that happens. He's bald, he's pretending to be in marketing, and he's creepy as, well, you know. Which would you say was the best actor out of all of them? Matthew McConaughey. And then the 3D experience got... Really real. When a group of male dancers gave the audience what they were hungry for. <laughs> And when Channing finally revealed himself, oh, the crowd went nuts. Well, if you get less exercise at work than a male stripper, we've got some advice at number four. Let's stop talking and do some walking. Yeah, walking, running, even standing is better than what most of us are doing. If you work in an office, nearly 75% of your day is sitting, and it can lead to some serious health consequences. You don't have to participate in Office Olympics, but an international panel does recommend standing at least two hours a day and building that up to four. Because it turns out people who sit for prolonged periods may bump up their chances of getting cardiovascular disease and type 2 diabetes. So come on, get up, stand up, maybe even throw your hands up. And now on to another modern physical ailment. We all text, but we don't really think about the health consequences. But the first official case of text neck might change all that at number three. I always look down at my phone. Of course, we all do. But for 14-year-old Sarah Atchison, her phone has become a pain in the neck, literally. It was mostly just achy, and it made it really hard to concentrate. The Colorado girl has been diagnosed with text neck. Yeah, that's a real thing. Text neck is where the proper curve in the cervical spine actually gets reduced and can even move forward. Hopefully, soon she'll be feeling good enough to get back on her phone and order stuff from Pinterest. Wait, what? That's number two. Next time that I saw on Pinterest was using cocoa powder and lotion to make a self tan. Of all the inspiring ideas you find on Pinterest, this could be the most inspired, a buy button. Oh, look at this. What are those? sleeping bags. Pinterest, the $11 billion company, has teamed up with retailers like Macy's, Bloomingdale's, and Kate Spade. So, instead of trying to make the things you see, 110% complete fail. Now, pinners can just buy the clothing, home decor, and even recipe ingredients they wish they had. I think I found one. I really love that. That's great. Should we get it? And if you want to tell people you made it, eh, we won't stop you. The purchase pin will pop up by the end of the month. And all those food pictures you've been pinning could contain valuable information in the Battle of the Bulge. That's our number one story of the day. Wow, that's beautiful. I gotta take a picture. Google has confirmed its researchers are working on an experimental project that can detect the amount of calories in your meal just by analyzing a photo of it. Well, let me just take one a little closer. You know, the Mac really lets you see the detail of it. The project is called I'm Two Calories and should be able to work with lower quality photos like your Instagram posts. Why don't I take an overhead shot to really capture the presentation of the plate? The math nerds working on the project still need to fine-tune the algorithms, but look at it this way. At least now someone is paying attention to your food pictures. And now you're caught up and clued in on the top of the list.